I'm pretty excited, not just because today's apartment's $1,700, but because it's a two bedroom in Park Slope, Brooklyn, just 30 minutes from Manhattan. And this place is nice. It's got a new kitchen, it's sunny, and it might save you some money. But is there a catch? Probably. Let's go check it out. Here we are in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Right over here is the entrance to the subway and you can get a whole bunch of trains here. And since the apartment's only five minutes away, your commute's not gonna be bad at all. Now over here, just one block from the train is Fifth Avenue. Brooklyn's version of Fifth Avenue anyways. But unlike Manhattan's Fifth Avenue, this place may save you some money, provided all you wanna buy is a space heater. Those are dangerous and heat should be included in your apartment, so hopefully you don't need to buy one of those. Zoiner here lives in the area. Where should people go to eat in this neighborhood? You go down here, the El Viejo Gallo. Very good Spanish food, highly recommend it. This is rice dish, real What's the name of it? I have no idea. You don't know the name either? <laughs> it's, it's pretty pricey, it's pretty pricey, but it's really good. Over here, we've got a local diner. It's not very big, but it has a massive menu with pretty much everything. Shawarma, I'm a big fan. But what I'm not a fan of is mass-produced coffee with the flavor of machinery. But even though I'm not a fan of lousy coffee, I am a fan of discount stores. And D2 is one of the biggest discount stores in the whole area. All that boring stuff like paper towels, mops, and soap, you should buy it here. And next to it, there's a little tea place. All right, you guys have to help me out. Which one of these looks pretty good? I know that tea's popular. It's just not something I'm personally into. Look at all these records on the window here. This might be a bar or something. There's no sign. But next to it, you can get Thai food and ice cream. And across the street there's a local tavern it seems like the people running this place are fans of comics just not marvel comics never mind fantastic four next to that comic store there's two very important establishments one of which is this liquor store and the other is this little coffee house right here since we're in brooklyn you know there's cold brew even if it's absolutely freezing out today there's a local seafood market live lobster I'm sold. Over here, you've got a local burger shack. Two of those for six bucks. Ooh, there's a local bakery. It looks like it also might be a coffee shop. That's great. Someone just told me that this coffee place has to be in the video because it's really good. It definitely looks pretty cool. That is for sure. This is definitely a convenient place to live. Everything you're gonna need is right here. In fact, if you need it and you can't find it over here, it's probably illegal. Let's go check out the apartment. Here we are, and I am loving the amount of sunlight we're getting from this place. Now, we're not exactly on the ground floor, but the view's pretty good, and it is nice and quiet. I think it's worth the four flights of stairs we had to climb up. Sorry, three flights. Now, you can probably tell that this is not a brand new apartment. The kitchen's newer, but the rest of it is not brand new. Does that matter? That's what we're gonna find out. And if you have fun watching this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, that helps. And definitely subscribe. I make between three and six of these a week and you'll probably miss one if you're not. Here's the front door, and as you can see, there's this massive hallway that leads you into the rest of the apartment. At the end of the hallway, we've got the kitchen, and the living room here is its own separate room. It's not part of the kitchen, and that means that all of the space you have here is gonna be easier to work with than if the kitchen was part of that wall right there. This living room is 10 feet 9 inches by 12 feet 3 inches. It probably makes the most sense to have your couch over here. This is where you can fit the largest couch, and then you can put the entertainment center in this corner. 
And you could also get some extra seating over there as well, like an armchair or something. Then you've got lots of room to hang out with friends or just watch movies and relax. That is definitely not something you can do in most affordable two person apartments like this. But if you fill this living room up with seating, where will you eat? Maybe you could totally get a kitchen table over here in the corner. And I was honestly expecting this kitchen to be a lot smaller. And I'm not sure I expected it to have much of a view of anything, but this is pretty cool. The fridge here is massive. If you fill this up with food, you won't starve to death for at least two weeks. There's a nice large oven with a vent. And best of all, there's a dishwasher. Counter space here is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. You could plug in something tiny right here, like an electric potato peeler. And if you want to get fancy over here, you could plug in a toaster oven. Is there a sink sprayer? No, there's not, but the sink is nice and deep. And there's also a closet in the kitchen. Is this gonna be your pantry? Sort of, there's some shelves and then there's a bar to hang things. I think that because the front entryway is over there, this could also end up being a coat closet. That's gonna be up to you. For the money, that kitchen gets a lot of things right. Now let's check out the bedrooms. All right, this first room that we've walked into has two large windows and it's got the exact same view as the living room. It's almost the same size size is the living room, 10 feet 3 inches by 12 feet 5 inches. No doubt this would make a great bedroom, but there's another room over there. And if you rented this by yourself, this could be a living room. This room does have a really big closet and you could put your bed over here or over here against the wall. It's also got a big radiator and one of those heat pipes, which is good. Sometimes an old apartment might get kind of cold, but heat's included here. The heaters are big. I had to take my jacket off. Speaking of which, this sturdy plastic hook is holding it up. And in New York City, that counts as a feature for $1,700. That would be my room. Now let's check out the other room and see if I'm gonna change my mind. All right, this room, it's only got one window, but it's still pretty good. Eight feet, 10 inches by eight feet, six inches. Now, because the closet and the door are at that end of the room, your bed is gonna have to go in that corner because since the radiator's over there, that's really the best spot for it. But that's not bad. It just means that your creative freedom is somewhat restricted. In New York of all places, could you still be yourself in here? Let's check out the closet. Not sure it counts as a walk-in closet, but it's pretty good. And if that's not enough storage space for you, just put some dressers or something against the wall. You'll be just fine. Provided you don't have so many things that this room is too small for you. Now to get to the bathroom, we've got to head back over here through the kitchen. So let's do that and see what it is like. It doesn't look like a brand new bathroom but it's got a window, it's fairly well lit, and it has a medicine cabinet, which comes with a paintbrush. I don't know much about makeup, but I'm sure you could apply quite a bit of it with a paintbrush. What's nice is there's a full-size bathtub. The sink's definitely not terrible. What else do we have in here? There's a towel holder on the opposite side of the door, plus you get this hook and this other towel holder. Two towel holders, now we're getting somewhere. Personally, I would be willing to put up with that bathroom because the kitchen kitchen and everything else here is so good for the money, but what do you think? Could you make this work? If you want to learn more about this place, check out the video description, and then why don't we see more apartments together? These are apartment tours. Pick whichever one you think is cooler. I'll see you in the next video.